Let's have a look at the DMC Performante front bumper for the Huracan after a few words of introduction. So today we're going to talk about the DMC brand new front bumper for the Huracan and uh, let's have a look at it directly here. This product is 100% carbon fiber, forged carbon fiber, outside, inside, as well as the back. I hope we're going to have some photos that we can show you here later on. Um, we're going to use exactly the same screw positions. You can use your old brackets so that the bumper fits flawlessly onto your original LP610, LP580. It even fits the Performante, but please talk to us. The, Perform the Performante bumper has a different order number. We also supply the grills, so there's not much you have to do besides painting the bumper, of course. Now, when it comes to painting the bumper, there's gonna be a couple of things that I would like to discuss with you today. I think that's a really awesome chance. Um, when it comes to painting bumpers, I have learned it's not really a simple thing as just going straight forward and say, hey, let's paint the bumper. Um, I would like to give you three examples in this video here today because we're looking at a beautiful DMC carbon fiber front bumper. So I would probably say a lot of you are considering to keep that bumper exposed carbon fiber, which I totally support. Some of you, maybe most of you are probably going to consider to at least partially paint it or fully paint it. Now let's say my first idea is don't keep it completely exposed. Why is that? I've seen a lot of the DMC Huracans and Aventados before who have been not painted at all. Of course, that's the most straightest, fastest installation for this process. You can do it. But then the edge is always like linear. My suggestion is why not take a paintbrush and like partially paint the bumper where it goes on the edge towards the car. So let's say if you have a blue car, a Lamborghini blue Huracan, and then you take exactly the same uh, factory color, which you can, by the way, you can find when you open the door, there's a little plaquette, a little sticker, which tells you the car name and also the official car uh, color code. So take the color, put it in the paintbrush, and then going from the edge of the bumper towards the front, you kind of really give this effect that the blue from the car suddenly flows flawlessly into the carbon bumper and then you take you take some rougher edges or make it look like clouds or water but basically you get the idea to make it look that it flows into the carbon i think this is going to look much better than just putting it on the car and have a straight linear edge but let me know in the comments what you prefer or if you have done something similar like that now if you decide to paint the full bumper there's also something i would like to discuss with you because apparently i have made let's say two three different experiences when it comes to painting the bumpers now um, besides i already told you you have to find out your original color code of the car which you can find at the side when you open the door some cars have a different place obviously but the you still have to mix this color. In the, nowadays, it's very unlikely that you can buy exactly this color. In the old time, maybe there was probably like 10 colors. Nowadays, there's a near endless array of different colors. So most paint shops have to um, mix that color for you. But mixing it is the right step because your car is probably likely not brand new. Even you got it brand new, it might have already stood outside of the dealer for one or more weeks. So why do I mention this? When the car stands outside, it gets affected by the UV light. Some more, some less. Sometimes it's the coat, sometimes it's even the color. There's certain weather conditions that you have to consider. So even if you have a certain, let's say, X1 Lamborghini Huracan Blue, after a few weeks, that blue is not gonna look the same as original anymore. So you wanna make sure that your paint shop mixes the color so that it matches the UV conditions. But even if you have done that, there's different styles around the world. Um, I remember back in Hong Kong, they do it straightforward. They take the bumper, add primer, add a couple of coats, uh, add a couple of layers of the paint and finish with a clear coat. Um, I had one customer in Switzerland, he ended up paying around nearly 10,000 euro or Swiss francs, what is it? Um, maybe the equivalent for painting one bumper and I was just so surprised I said wow why is that so much more expensive because even in Hong Kong we, we we did the presentation we did the special mixing of the color to match the UV well it turns out they did not only paint his bumper it's quite awesome and quite a clever approach I have to say they painted the full bumper but they didn't stop there they also painted all surrounding parts for example, um, I remember that case of the Aventador, they also painted the front hood partially and the fenders partially. Now, why did they do this? Consider what I mentioned before. Remember I said, paint a flow of the blue into the carbon. They basically took an opposite approach. 
So what they did is they painted the front bumper completely in the new color and then they also painted the old parts partially so that the new color which was just applied on the bumper flew flawlessly flew what's the past tense of flow guys please help me out flew <laughs> did a flow flawlessly flow into the into the hood as well so when you looked at the bumper no matter whether you're somewhere inside with a virtual light outside with natural sunlight with sunshine without sunshine but basically you always have a really awesome presentation of the color because the new color flows into the car into the old paint and it most likely 99.9% .9 really looks perfect but guys I really would like to hear from you what do you think about this do you have a similar experience about this have you ever painted your car or just parts of your car how much did that cost in your country or what's the approach they took in your country uh, leave me a comment below and also please if you like this video leave us a thumbs up or even thumbs down if you didn't like the video and let us know in the comments what you liked and didn't like because only then we can improve and give you better content in future you can really help us by subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet there's a lot of you guys i know you tune in every week but you haven't subscribed yet please do there's a little bell icon that you can click and you get automatically notifications when we upload new videos that's really helpful i feel T uh, turn that on if you watch this video on another channel I'll go aside for a moment and I'll show you here how you do it on the other channel have a look it works like this and then you click here here and here exactly like that and um, you get notified on that channel as well thanks let me say thank you so much for tuning in today one more time say happy new year 2021 this year is gonna be awesome it's gonna be better than last year but one thing's gonna stay same we're gonna give you awesome content regular car content about supercars dmc parts carbon fiber how to develop items please leave us comments what you like to see this year on our channel and we'll certainly look after that and make videos for you guys let me say thank you one more time for watching and i'll see you next time with more dmc content until then dmc life hi guys thank you so much for watching this video here today you know we did upload actually quite some videos over the past few years maybe there's something you would like as well maybe this video here or this and if you haven't done so yet kindly help us to subscribe to the channel you can do that up here so that we're going to see you next time with more dmc content let me say thank you so much for watching one more time until next time bye for now